this is MJ with Creative Minds coming to you today to teach you about a product. Just a quick tip for you and your polymer clay projects. Um, and believe it or not, it's with the product, you guessed it, Armor All. And this stuff is great for your car, <laughs> but it's also great for your polymer clay projects. And stick around and I'll show you how. Okay guys, this is also a new camera we are trying out tonight. We got the Canon EOS 750D, which is also known as the Canon Rebel TSI T6i. And so hopefully you're getting a better viewing experience. But one thing I want you to notice is like this mold, this texture right here, you can see that there's some clay residue in it, you know, that was left behind um, when it was used. It looks like a white kind of a, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there was kind of a white residue left behind on it. And you know how when you use these, sometimes your clay just gets stuck in the grooves? Well, I have an answer to that. So I was just going to show you, and this, this, this is just more texture sheets. I didn't know which one I was going to pick, but I was trying to pick one also with some like great detail in it. The ones that are like real easily where your clay might get stuck in it very easily. And then there's a homemade texture with some, I just made this with some scrap clay. So a uh, long while back. So, you know, it works with any of them. But uh, and then there's some other of these kind of texture sheets that, you know, I mean, just whatever kind of texture sheet you might have, this method will work every time. And all you need are some baby wipes, or you can even use like paper towel or a, a, a washcloth or something like that. And like I said, this armor all. And what you're going to do with this armor all is you're, it's basically just for like, it's an original protectant for your, for your car. Use it for your car. Cleans, shines, protects plastic, vinyl, and rubber from UV damage. Helps surfaces look like new. That's basically what this says on there. You can get this at any automotive store. You can even get it at Walmart. You could probably pour some into a little spray bottle and just spritz it on, but I just, um, spray a little bit onto my baby wipe and then what I do is I wipe down let's see let's just pick one try to pick one with some detail in it this is good okay I wipe down a little bit on the mold I just wipe it on the mold with the baby wipe so it gets in there in the crevices and then I just place my clay onto the surface and whichever way you're going to, ah, oh, there's a hair on it, okay. Then whichever way you're going to roll it, I'll place it this way and get it down into the grooves there, hopefully. And then you'll note, oh, look at that. See, it comes right off. You can even use this on your, there's that hair. Okay, you can even use this on your work surface. Um, wipe a little bit on your work surface and it really helps the clay to, especially if you're working with those thin layers of clay and you gotta take your, your knife and and kind of scrape it off. Um, this really helps to get the clay off of there. So just a little note for you to keep in mind that this works very well for your any kind of textures. And let's try it on this homemade one right here. I'll do it on the other side of it. So I think I had enough on there, but I'm just gonna spray the surface of it wipe it on there and again I could spray it right onto here but I'm just trying to you know and probably I should because I think that's where the little hair is coming from from this little fuzzies are from this um just get it on there and then place your clay on there and however which way you're gonna do it And then, now 
this time it didn't come, but look at that. Lifts right off. And we've got a great, a great uh, impression there of what was on that um, texture. So, um, and no residue left on the texture tile. So same as this one, no residue left on that tile. So just a little quick tip for you. you this stuff is great. It's, it may be an answer to your problems of getting <sighs> all that clay out of uh, your molds and textures. Um, it just comes right out with ease. So keep that in mind. Well, I hope that tip has helped you. Whoever thought that Armor All would be a product that you could use with polymer clay, but it is and it works great. So, um, I'd like to take a moment though to thank all of you who have become recent subscribers. Um, it means a lot to us and it gives us a lot of encouragement to keep making videos for you. And just want you to know we got a lot of new books in stock with some great new techniques that we are going to be filming and um, getting out to you so that you can learn them as well and use them in your projects. And basically we just wanted to say again thank you to those of you who have subscribed and if this video has helped you please give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button for more. And as always, we'd like to mention our favorite place to shop. That's www.polyclayplay.com. Again, that's www.polyclayplay.com. It's a wonderful place for polymer clay artists. If you're a paper crafter, scrapbooking, if you're into stamping, if you're an artist of any kind, go to polyclayplay.com and just check it out. They have a great rewards program. Their prices are unbeatable. The owner is fantastic and is just a joy to work with. And she cares about her customers. And that says a lot to me. So I think it would mean a lot to you too. So again, visit www.polyclayplay.com in order to check out what they have to offer. And I just wanted to just say that, just take note that we are not reimbursed, we are not paid, we are not sponsored, we are, we are given nothing to mention them in our videos. It just happens to be our go-to place for polymer clay supplies, for most of our polymer clay supplies. And, and uh, so we wanted to share that with you to give you another tip on where you can get some great supplies at great prices. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you a little bit of an insight on a new way you can do something with polymer clay. And we hope to see you in the next video. So bye for now. Ciao.